Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to chill a little bit and we're going to do a little bit of DOSing a denial of service attack onto our Apache server. So let's get to our virtual machine and let's start up our Kali. So what I'm thinking basically is just to um, run a DOS attack from the flowlowers.py from the GitHub and then run the another from slow HTTP test. But we can also do the are you dead yet attack. So slow lowers in HTTP test, slow lowers in from slow lowers uh, for GitHub and the are you dead yet. So let's take a look. So first our internet is fine. Uh, I don't need any sounds and um, let's just uh, zoom this in and let's set up the keyboard because I always have to do that. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to check out the GitHub from the slow lowers. I'm not sure which one it is. Let's take a look. It does take a while for this to start up. No, no, let's take a look. I think it's, oh, it's either the aggressor or it's this one. But I think I downloaded this one last time, so let's just go with this one. Now, I could do git clone as well, but let's just download it like this because I already entered the site. What's the point, you know? Save file, save it up. Okay, and then as far as the slow HTTP test, we can actually uh, download it with apt-get. Um, so let's do that. sudo apt-get install slow HTTP test. Right, is it done? It always takes a while to process the triggers from MandyB. Let's enter the... let me just zoom this in. Let's enter the var www.html to um, edit our indexes. So let's remove all of that. You know what, let's just start Apache 2 first. There we go. And now let's remove all of this. And then uh, nano uh, index.html. Now let's make a new one. Uh, testing DDoS. It's not a DDoS, that's in DOS attack. There we go. Okay. Now let's do P. Um, Apache versus Loris. Okay, that should be done. So one thing I want to I want to mention to you guys, if you're testing this the way I am on your own network, uh, or well on your own PC, is basically anywhere that you have a browser that it might remember the website because it does it caches the websites that you're using. Um, so keep that in mind. And sometimes when you refresh, it's gonna refresh regardless of if it's alive. I don't even know. And sometimes it just happens. So one thing we want to do is you can, once you're on the website, you can actually uh, press Control, Shift and R in order to refresh the web page from the beginning. So like to even to ignore all the cached versions. This is useful if you're doing the DNS spoof as well. So let's just say you're doing a DNS spoof on a page that's HTTP. And then you enter that page and you see the page still and you're like, wait, what? But my DNS spoof is working. So all you have to do is Control, Shift and R. Now obviously you're a victim. Uh, might have that case. I don't know. Some browsers have that. Some browsers automatically refresh. Some browsers cache. Uh, all browsers cache. But the question is, you know, how much, what page, and it all depends, I guess. So um, sometimes all you have to do is just refresh it with the Control Shift and R, which will load the load the web page again. Um, but maybe maybe on some uh, browsers it's different. I don't know. But from what I figured out, uh, I've used uh, I think two browsers, three. Uh, three different browsers and try this on. Control Shift and R is always the key for that. So I don't know. Let's first check out the website from this uh, browser, from my main browser. So I'm going to use the private window because it doesn't uh, use cached versions right here. But I mean, we're not going to need this much because, uh, to be honest, as I said, we're not doing DNS, but we're just doing the DOS. So let's uh, type in ifconfig and we're using this IP, so 129. So basically when I enter this, it's going to say testing DOS attack, Apache versus Slow Loris. Slow Loris T. <laughs> Alright, never mind. So uh, now what we're going to do is, is we're going to pull this out. And then we're going to go back here. And then now we have our slow HTTP test. So let's just do slow HTTP test. Uh, let's do, I don't know. So let me just show you the help first. There you go. So this is the help. You can pause the video if you want. Uh, these are we're going to use these the B, and we're going to use the H. So uh, we can also generate the uh, statistics. They can be like HTML or CSV. Uh, we can specify some parameters. I'll explain this as we go. So let's just do slow HTTP test, 
uh, taxi. Let's write in the number of connections that we're going to use. And then let's do the type of attack, um, H. And then let's do I. And this is going to be our interval in seconds uh, for the follow-up data. And then we're going to do R, 200. Uh, we can actually leave this to anything you want. You can put this 400 basically, and then leave this to 200. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So basically, uh, as I said, this is the uh, number of connections and this is the rate uh, per second. Let's specify the method. So method is going to be get, and then let's specify the U and the URL basically. So what you have to do is write here HTTP and then your IP. I think it was 129. Let's take a look. And that is correct. It was 129. So make sure you put the HTTP as well because it's not going to work. And then uh, we're going to do X. And uh, so this is basically the max length of uh, random data in bytes. So we're going to write here uh, 24. And um, let's go for P. So this is going to be interval to wait in seconds. Let's put three. I think that should be fine. Let's put five. We can put five. And then um, I think that's it. We, we're, we didn't specify any output. I'm, we're going to do this uh, after this attack. So I'm just going to show you how it could work. Uh, you know what? Let's just use the. Let's just, for this. Let's just use the the are you dead yet attack slow body, because uh, I'm going to do uh, if I'm going to generate the. CSV or the HTML files, basically the statistics of the attack. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna do that in slow lowers. So there you go, slash uh, dash p, basically. Now let's run this. There we go. So service available, yes. So that means the server is still online. You can still access it, but as you can tell, I'm having difficulties accessing it. And this should be, yep, there we go. Now it's no, it says no now. And now I can't access it. If I press Control Shift R, still nothing. So, oh, sorry. So, I'm sorry. So there we go, nothing. And then now I can access it again. As you can tell, it says service available, yes. And now it's again, no. So what, what it does here is basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no open connections left. Test ended on 30 sec 36th second. So there we go, we've tested it and um, if you take a look right here, it should be available again. It is, good. So basically let's increase our connections and uh, let's leave the rate to 200 and let's leave this the way it is and let's decrease this. I think that should be it. So let's give it a shot. So it's still available and now it's gonna start hitting it and it's gonna be unavailable. There we go. And now it's gonna refresh. I don't know why it takes so much, but as you can tell, it's not available. No, it says no. Okay, so let me just show you the other browser. If we go to the same thing, uh, this is our Kali browser. 192.68.1.129. And now it's waiting. It can't load because it says no. Okay, it loaded, but that means this one is going to turn to yes. There we go. And now if we request again, hold on. Oh, I think the attack is going to, yeah, it's closing the connections. Connected 50, closed 450. So basically, that's the 500 that we specified. We I guess we can specify way more. So let's do 700. All right, let's take a look. And now, even though that's like overkill, but okay. So now I can still load. We're waiting for the no. There we go. And now it's not gonna be able to load. Now, if you, as you can tell, it still loads, but if you press Control Shift and R, it can't load because it cached the website before. So it, it doesn't actually load, it just loads what it cached. And now it loaded, of course, because this turned to yes. So when when it's no, it's basically it basically means the website's not available. But this is kind of late, so all you have to do is just basically keep trying. And if you if you figured out, this is the pause that we're using. Um, so the pause can be reduced as well. So interval between the follow-up data is 10 seconds, and the probe connection timeout is three seconds. So let's reduce that to even lower numbers. Let's put that to 1, uh, I think that's over, let's put it to 2, and then the 10 seconds is going to be 5, how about now? So let's take a look, everything works as I said, but if you refresh the way you're supposed to refresh with Control shift and R, you're going to get this thing, and now we're waiting for yes, and then it's going to load, 
or maybe a little before yes because as I said this is kind of late okay there we go and now it should turn into yes there we go okay and now it's working and now if I request again everything's fine and if I control shift R to reload it should be unavailable again okay it's available again and now it's as I said this is delayed this you shouldn't be counting much on right here as you can see it's not available okay so let's try another time Control shift and R is the key so right now it says yes but let's just keep spamming Control shift and R oh, okay the connections dropped out and um, no uh, open connections left so this is from what I figured out this is just a safety feature there you go so it doesn't work again but now it's gonna turn to yes and it's gonna start working again so this is just a safety feature basically I think this is a tool is actually made by Google uh, yeah okay code Google or uh, well actually it's Google is the one who posted it so I don't know I don't know who made it so let's take a look at our um, let's see probe connection time are two seconds and the interval between the full update is five so I think the intervals are still five let's take a look it seems like it's five this yes standing here for a while slow test test is on 35th second and it's initializing pending connected and closed so there we go that's it we can actually kill the process right now and now our server is going to be able to control shift and R let's see yeah it's here All right so in order to prove that server is working back let's just uh, uh nano in html and let's write something else server update uh, works right now okay let's just do that okay and now let's just refresh it and there you go so everything works okay so we've done that now let's do the slower HTTP test again no, that's not the one okay let's do the do what the all right all right there we go so let's um, you know what let's just leave it the way it is and let's actually specify the H and now let's add the uh, I think we can add it here we can add it I think we can add it on to the end G and then O and then the output uh, output that's what's gonna be called I think that should be fine uh, let's take a look at the R our connection rate let's put it 300 so let's just put it 300 for the sake of fun and let's put the P to 2 and then put the interval to 5 there we go and now we should generate the output thing there we go so it's testing the DOS again and if I control shift R as I said this is the cache website if you use the uh, what is it called the private tab uh, you're not going to get this issue so I think because it doesn't cache on the private let's take a look I think it shouldn't cache all right it can't reach it at all uh, let's just concentrate on this one uh, it says no as you can tell right now we are knocking it down pretty good and I can't reach it at all I'm still waiting for it and as you can tell the close connections right now is 150 the connected is 300 and pending is 236 there we go we got our website so this should turn to yes now let's try to reach it again okay I think we're back at no uh, let's stop this and now should load from the first there we go control shift and R everything works now let's take a look at our CSV cat output CSV there we go and uh, okay so seconds closed pending connected service available um, I don't know this doesn't look right so one, two three four five one. service available so I didn't write the service available for some reason I don't know so let's do cat uh, what was it called um, open HTML oh, okay so Firefox uh, let's do Firefox there we go okay oh that looks amazing look at that slow headers 700 number of connections the verb is get the content length header value is 4 and the extra data max length is 52 interval between the follow-up data is 5 seconds connections per second is 300 timeout for probe connection is 2 and target test duration is 240 seconds no proxy so basically test results against the HTTP and it says closed so we have the closed and we have the pending which is waiting and then we have connected okay so connected 306 
uh, of how many of our probes were connected and then we have the service available yes yes no and then yes yes and then no again so that's pretty cool that's a pretty cool graph how about we put the fork chart the pie chart let's try that see if we can modify it anyway so I actually changed the changed the text to pie chart and it gave me this um, I mean it doesn't look like a pie chart but that's cool it, it does have the dots it didn't have that before so close pending connected that's cool looks cool all right so that's it and now uh, we've done that we done the, we've done the slow Ooh. okay Ooh, that was close all right so we've done the slow so now let's do the slow lowers the default slow lowers basically I mean it's the same attack that we did the first time um, yeah Wait, no, H. We first did the Are You Dead Yet? Then we did the H. Yeah. So it's the same attack we did right now, but we're going to do it over the tool. So, Lord, so let's go to. Um, let's see. Let's see. And unzip. Oh, okay. And see these Loris. And you don't need to install anything, luckily. Uh, you can just do Python. So, Loris. Apply. And now it's gonna tell you, oh, you need to specify some things. And don't worry, I'm going to specify some things and I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Let's clear this out. Let's do the IP. Oh, you know what, actually? Yeah, we can just do 192.168.1.129 and we can do the P for the port and we can do 80. And we can do V. Uh, this is going to be verbose, which will mean that it's gonna output more. And let's do the UA to randomize the user agents, even though I don't have to do this because I'm doing this to myself, but I just want to show you. This basically randomizes the user agents that are visiting the web page. So it doesn't say every time um, that the attack is coming from, I don't know, Firefox from the same browser, you know. Uh, this randomizes it. And even though it doesn't come from a browser, but, you know, you have to have your user agent set up. Uh, it's going to come from one certain user agent. Uh, this might be Python's, what, requests, URL lib, I don't know. And since the sleep time is kind of kind of long, uh, sleep time is kind of long. We're gonna put it to five seconds. So that means the the intervals in between the attacks. As you can tell, it doesn't work right now. It can't get it. Uh, as I said, this is the I think this is the anonymous. Yeah, this is the anonymous tab. So now it's sleeping for five seconds. There you go. And the socket count is 150. And if we control shift and R. It can't load it, but it's going to sleep for 5 seconds, so now it's going to be able to load it. There we go, it loaded it. So now we can actually reduce the sleep to, let's say, 1 second. So only 1 second is going to be alive, and then all of the other time is just going to hit it. So let's go, sleeping for 1 second, if we try to get it. Now let's control shift and R, because it might have cached, I don't know. So it doesn't work, doesn't work, sleeping for, a sec for 1 second again. And it's still going on. Nothing is happening. It can't reach the website at all. Um, yeah, I can't reach it at all because it keeps hitting it all the time. So it does sleep for one second, but it's not enough for my browser to refresh it. And there we go. We actually managed to refresh it somehow. We're trying again. Control Shift and R. Use Control Shift and R because this uh, this thing doesn't really work. It's F5 basically, so it's a regular refresh. As you can tell now, I can't get it again. But now let's take a look. So what if we increase the sleep time to 10 seconds? So right now, if we refresh the page, it works. Let's control shift and R, it doesn't work, see? And now it's still sleeping, so let's, let's wait for it to start, okay? So I sent the live headers again and it's sleeping again. So now it should be able to load, yeah. And now we have to wait for a couple of seconds and now it's gonna start the attack again, so. Control shift and R, I'll keep spamming, and then the attack is going to start again. There we go, it doesn't work again. Okay, so one thing we want to do is we actually want to want to enter it back, and we want to see how many sockets can we send. There we go, sockets. Number of sockets you want to use in the test increases logging. Uh, we can use more sockets. We're not going to use proxy, and sleep time is fine. So let's just specify these sockets to be, what was it, 150? 50, let's specify it to be 300, all right? So that's a lot of sockets. Can't really, it keeps creating them. It's gonna take a while, but maybe it's an overkill. All right, so, oh, sorry. Actually refreshed the wrong page. Timed out, and there we go, see? 
So Sake Khan 279, sleeping for 10 seconds. All right, so can't reach it at all. He's sleeping for 10 seconds right now. And um, recreating sockets. And let's refresh, still nothing. Uh, but it did manage to load in the meantime. So um, Control Shift and R, always use that. And it's sleeping for 10 seconds. But now let's do the same thing. And let's put this 250, I think 300 is a bit of an overkill. At least for this case. Now let's put the sleep time to a second. See what happens right now. Okay. We managed to keep them alive and let's see. I think we need a bigger sleep time. But it's doing great, so it's not able to reach the service at all. Alright, that's it. There we go. It reached it back. And now it's recreating it recreated the sockets, and now it's the sending the keep alive headers and socket count is up again 250. And now it's sleeping for one second again. So I can't reach it still. Still can't reach it. And if I stop, I'll be able to reach it. Like literally in a second. So there we go. Uh, that's it. Alright. So that's it. Basically. So one thing I wanted to tell you is that one thing I talked about in the in one of the previous videos. I don't remember what video it was. The Add Me Fast thing. Where you can just uh, put the Add Me Fast website. For example, let's take let's say you're a hacker or someone uh, who's malicious and you want to bring down a, a big website that earns money from Google Ads, so let's just say a new site. So you just put the new site, if no one did already, just put the new site in the, into the Add Me Fast and I think the Google Ads are going to bring down the ads from that web page, which means they're going to lose a lot of money from the ads. So I don't know, I've, I've talked about this before, but I don't know if it worked. I don't want to test it because I, I believe it's illegal. Uh, because Google Ads definitely doesn't like the boss from the coming from the iframe of the Admi Fast. So I think that could work. I don't know, maybe the site owners can ban this somehow. Maybe the uh, Admi Fast itself is, is going to try to prevent that, you know, by saying, all right, this site is famous. Well, this site is big, you can't do that. But I don't think so because. Um, especially if you live in a small country like me, you can just pick a big uh, news network and just uh, pick their site, I guess. I haven't done it yet, but I feel like it will work. I don't know, it just makes sense. Alright, that's it. Let's uh, kill the virtual machine. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.